Look at this. Nasty. I think Amazon did the same thing. Actually, it was me. It's not Amazon. I did the same thing yesterday. Okay, you see how this is up here? Looking like it wants to break out. And I feel like it is going to break out. But I wouldn't buy it. Look. It's got to go through all this garbage right here. I won't short it because it's too strong. And I won't take it because of breakout because it's already ran too far. And it's got to go through this level. Even though it probably will break out at least to 75. There it goes. Market's popping slightly. But see, the thing is, it'll pop up, flashback. Pop up 5 cents, flashback 10 cents. These things are so fast today. Okay, so today was one of the days where at the open, there were so many things popping off. Yeah, I, you kept missing them. I'd, I'd type one on my screen here and hit enter, and it was gone. It was already too late at chasing it. I look over, and there's three more popping off. I took a second to pick one, and I missed two of them. Look, what did I tell you? You see how it pinged up there to 75, 76 and dropped back? It pinged up a dime and dropped back. It'll very well dump back to 50. That's too quick. You couldn't, you couldn't have got the profit. I mean, yeah, you could have taken a chance and you might get out even, but that's not what day trading is about. It's about increasing your odds of making a reasonable amount of money compared to the loss, the risk and loss you're taking. So, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with this at all. It's just going sideways. But as you can see, don't take my advice on Amazon. It's been freaking killing me. I am up 248 bucks. So check this out. The first trade of the day, I made exactly $250. Since then, I went to 387 in the green, all the way back to 107 in the red. And then I had to scalp this. I'll show you my markers in a minute. and You'll think it's absolutely ridiculous because it is. But hey, Whatever, if you can, if I can do this and make my money back, I'll do it. Whatever. You heard about people scalping 10 cents. That's what I was doing. I think I got one run on AMD. I'll show you AMD in a minute and why I'm in the green. One run on AMD. Everything else was a 10 to 20 cent scalp over and over. Death by a thousand scalps. And hey, I'm back at 250. I'll stop at that. It's way past my time. The only thing I hate about it is I'm breaking all my rules. I trade from 9.30 to 10.30. The problem is the first trade I made 250 bucks. And then I didn't trade again until around 10.30. That was like 10 o'clock. 10.30. And I think I lost it or lost back to like 100. Tried to make it back to 250, went down to zero. And then ended up in the red, a hundred bucks. So eventually, now the market's taking off a little bit. Eventually had to go back to scalping. I can't believe it. I'm back to the almost the exact same amount that I made on the very first trade in five minutes. That was three and a half hours ago. So I could have just closed off my computer and left with the same amount, actually $2 more, three and a half hours ago. But on the other hand, I like trading. I don't like sitting here for that long. I mean, I got up and left a few times, but I got some good experience and I'm getting more and more confident with my uh, trades, especially on choppy days or, or when I'm red, how I can scalp my way back. And that's just right now. That's just because I'm making 200 to 500 bucks a day. If I was making 2000 to 5000 a day, I don't think I could scalp my way back. But these are small sums of money. I mean, so it's easy. I mean, I technically you could, but I, I just wouldn't be doing that. You don't see Mayor Brock scalping his way back. Of course, he's a different trader. Look, this thing is going to break out now. It is going to break out after all. But you have to buy it on the pullback. You buy the breakout on Amazon, and that's what gets me about trading it. They'll buy this breakout right now. And they'll set their stop under here. There ain't no way in hell I'm setting a dollar stop. 
and waited an hour for the thing to come and stop me out. Uh, as you'll see by the markers here, I'm a ridiculous uh, momentum scalper. So, I don't know, I played around with Amazon in the morning, right here. I think I came out even or had a slight gain on it. In the afternoon, right in here is where I get crazy with it. It's just going sideways. I know it's going sideways. The trading's over right here. 1045. It blew out of this wet, out of this flag, and then leveled out, and then it, it's trading. Yeah, it's a tradable gap. It's a tradable channel because it's a dollar. You, you know, even though it's going sideways, it's going sideways in a dollar range. So it is tradable, and I do scalp it back. But I mean, this I had this down to 280 and up as high as 600. <laughs> oh, I need to just leave it alone. If I would have just left it alone, I probably I would have been up like 700. If I would have just left this alone and traded um, AMD, which was moving a lot better. If I was going to do anything that, that right now, I'd short this. But it'll probably go right through it. It's been doing, I've already tried that like four times a day. You know, put a short on right here, right here, with a stop right here. And the thinking is it comes up, it buys these, it pings off this guy here and dumps back. But you know what? It comes up, they're, they're hiding their orders here. They come right up, they bust through them and just keep right on going. <laughs> it doesn't work, man. I've already tried it on Amazon like three or four times a day. Unbelievable, too. One of them was like 70,000 right here. 76. Went right through it like it wasn't even there. And the guy didn't disappear either. I saw it. It, it uh, well, that, that time it did, but I saw it and then he came back and then he just, they just bought him down. It was like 70s and it was in the 50s, 40s, 30s. And then he dropped to the 20s and then boom, he was gone. And then it blasted right on through and ran. It's crazy. I, with the, I mean, it's obviously institutions buying. Amazon had some good earnings, but I mean, this is crazy. Watch it come right up here and bust through this. All right. So the reason I'm up 250. So I had, I had two winners and one loser. Watch it go right through this. I will not be surprised at all. It's been doing it all day. And the other thing is, too, if I don't short it here, like I take it for a run, like put some orders right here and see if it, it doesn't run. It pops like five cents and then pulls back 25 cents. So, yeah, I had one winner and one loser. Do it. Look at that, 112. Look, gone. I don't know if they're something they bought them up. They're gone right, right through it. But see, he doesn't go through it with any momentum. And that's what's killing me on Amazon. That is what's been killing me. AMD, on the other hand, AMD just popped 20 cents in one candle. So let's look at AMD. It looks like a mess too, but that's because I had to make my money back. Look at this. Ridiculous. I chased it out of, out of this today. This was a ridiculous trade. That might have been a short. I think it was a short. I tried to short it here for a drop back halfway. It didn't go. I added, didn't go, closed it out, nothing. I don't know what, this was a long, didn't go, flag back on me. I'm looking for something like this, but it didn't go one candle, just flag back on me. And I left it alone, which was my mistake. <clears throat> I should have kept trading and out of the flags. I don't know why I was fixated on Amazon. I was fixated on Amazon because I lost money in it and I get caught up feeling like I need to make money back in the stock that I lost it from. And that is definitely not the case. As you can see here, 455. Oh, I said I had to. I had two winners and one loser. So if I just wouldn't have traded Amazon, I'd have been up seven, four, five, six, almost 700 bucks. So, you can see here a lot of scalps. These are shorts down through here. The reds are sells, the blues are buys. And then, I, and then as soon as it took off, I flipped it. Buy, buy, sell. <clears throat> Close it out at the top. Buy, 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 sell. Okay, let's see. 
Here's a short here, boom. There's that's 50 cents right there. Uh, I don't know why I closed that out. I bought it here, scalped another 20. This is when I was getting into the scalping. Look, 25 cents, bought it again. 20 cents, bought it again. Almost 50 cents, shorted it. I look, let me show you this. Man, when I get when I throw caution to the wind, that is actually when I trade the best. So at this point, I'm pretty sure I was red. I'm like, screw it, man. I got to make this money back. Boom. I buy it out of this flag. Close it out. So that's in the uh, 20 to fit. So 30 cents, 35 cents. Close it out. Immediately short it. Realize it's coming off this channel. Short it. Boom, boom, boom. Take profit down here. Another. So now you're talking instead of 20, 30, uh, 30 cents, you're talking 60 cents. 10 to 40. So 60 cents, bunch of scalps, bunch of scalps, and then I just kept scalping it on the way up. It's the only way to play it safe. So I, uh, like I was doing with the other things, I buy it over a big, over a big seller. If I'm selling or short it under a big <coughs> buyer, if I'm shorting and then wait for the drop. So for example, well, there's not none here to look at, but if I was going to short under this guy, I put an order here. And then as soon as it buys, it drops down a few pennies. I put my stop either even or give it three or four cents. Wherever it stalls, take my profit. And I would probably take profit right in here. because It's probably going to bounce, <clears throat> but I keep feeding it down and I got to increase my share size because you're talking about scalping five to 10 cents at the least and then hoping for 20, 15, 20 cents or a big flush down. Well, the candles are 32 to 50, so you got 20 cents candle. 32 to 52, 20 cent candles. But anyway, that's that's how it works. So if I see an, uh, an lopsided, like you see this guy here keeps showing up 5,000 right here. He's probably gonna pop it up. They don't break him here. He went to 4,000 that time. I would short it here if I was going to short it. Also, you can look at the candle. It's kind of in the middle. You expect at least a dime out of that. Uh, but it's best to try to get it up at the top. That's the best way to do it. It's up here. Look for the, all the people stacked up here on 50, 51, 52, 54. Short it 47, 8, 9. Put your stop at 53, 54. And just hope for the best. And when it flashes down, watch it closely. If it looks like it's going to bounce back, take your, take some off, 10, 15 cents, leave the, put the rest stop even and, and let it run. You can see here's a short, some scalps here. That's a pretty good short. What is this? Under the whole number. Oh yeah, it was above the whole number and then added under the whole number. So the other trade I had was, uh, Rivian, man, this is a good stock. I was trading it when it was at ten, eleven dollars, and then seventeen, eighteen dollars. This thing moves for the size of a stock. It is. Look at this. Come off twenty fifty, pops up in three three minutes, fifty cents, and it's smooth too. Just the right amount of volume, not too much where it's going to be slow, not too little where some joker can come in and spike it. Either way or the other. This is a nice trading. If you're looking for a stock, not a penny stock, but a, a nice, uh, you know, cheap stock to trade, the $20 range. Man, the $10, I don't know, $10 is getting a little low. But in the teens up to the 50s, preferably in the 20s, 30s, or 40s, and those are some good stocks to trade if you can find ones that move. Look, so I bought it here. Right over 2050, wrote it all the way up to the whole number. I think it even popped over the whole number by like five cents. Closed it out. Let it fade back down. Look how nice it fade back down. Bought it right off the VWAP again and wrote it all the way up. I added over the little break right here. Wrote it all the way up so that I bought it then off 70. Wrote it back up to another 50 cents. 
And then I even, <laughs> I even shorted it up here. I shorted it right there and took profit. <laughs> I got to quit doing that, man. But I like playing both sides. If you have a channel, I'll play both sides of the channel. That's not a big enough channel to do it with, really. What is that? 30 cents? I need at least 50 cents. Over 50 cents is really what you need. And that's it. That's all I traded that, 184 bucks. I didn't really take big share size. I wasn't sure of it. It wasn't like moving that great. As you can see, it kind of went sideways for a while. Had a nice blowout here. When it blows out, the thing about this is you look over and it's on this candle. You're like, dang it, I already missed it. Look at that. 2150, one candle up to 75. Boom. What, how far did it go this time? 2150, 20, 60 cents. 50, 60 cents. This is a good trading stock right here. Rivian. So anyway, two winners, one loser. Amazon killed me. Scalped my way back to 248. Don't do it. Don't do this at home. I'm a trained professional.